Hey, I'm Alec, and today in 3D Printing Troubleshooting Guide, we're going to talk about elephant's foot. If you enjoy the 3D Printing Troubleshooting Guide series, be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all the other tips and tricks I'll be providing on the different errors you can encounter while 3D printing. Now let's get started. So specifically, elephant's foot is where your print, let's say a cube, has sort of a flare at the base. So instead of it being just a perfectly vertical wall, it's having some issue where the first couple layers are like extra squished out. And there's a couple different things that can cause that. So let's get into what those are. There's a couple different causes for elephant's foot, with the first being that your bed isn't level. So if your bed's slightly askewed, in some parts your nozzle may be too close, and in others too far, and in the parts where it's close, that's where you can get that flaring or elephant's foot. You can also have a first layer height that's set too low. So the first layer height is something you can change, and that's usually to help with adhesion. So you can have a larger layer height, but then print closer, so it has a lot of material that it can smush out. Or you could have your extrusion rate for the first layer set too high, because that's another thing you can change. You can set it so that the line width is even thicker than your nozzle size, so it's really pushing out a lot of filament, and a couple different things like that. But that's what can cause that sort of flare out. So now let's get into some of the solutions. So the first thing you can do is you can check that your bed is actually leveled and then do a Z offset calibration because even if it's truly level, if you're printing so that the first layer is just like 0.1 millimeters above the bed when it should be 0.3, that's gonna make a lot of filament squeeze outside of the path that's designed to be put down. And that's how you can get that flare out is because as it's getting higher, it's starting to pick up and, and balance out, but that's how you get that flare. So instead of it being just super squished out the entire print, it squished out in the beginning and then it levels out. So you wanna make sure your Z offset is at the perfect height so you don't get that, but you get just enough adhesion from that first layer as well. You can also increase your first layer height. So like I said, you can modify how high each layer is specifically the first layer. So when I'm printing with a 0.2 layer height, I'll make my first layer 0.25, so I have a little extra wiggle room, and occasionally I'll get it where the, just the first layer is kind of flared out, but the rest of the model is just fine. So it'll help with adhesion, but if I have a deburring tool, I can just scrape off that little bit of flare out, and then there's no problems anymore. You can also lower your first layer extrusion rate. So if you have it set to 125% with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, what that's going to do is make that extrusion with 0.5 millimeters, and that's where that flare out comes from. So you can bring that back down to 100%. Now if it's already at 100% and all the other things that I have mentioned have been solved, then you may need to calibrate your E-steps, which we have another video on, but that may be causing the problem as well, where it's just putting out too much plastic than it really should be, and that's what's causing that flare out. Hopefully the tips I provided in this video has helped you solve the error of elephant's foot. If however this specific issue isn't the one that you're having, please check out our playlist on our channel for the 3D printing troubleshooting guide series where you can hopefully find your error there. If however you don't see it listed, please don't hesitate to reach our support line at support at matterhackers.com or you can give us a phone call where you can talk to an actual person to help you troubleshoot your specific issue. Now stay tuned for the rest of the 3D Printing Troubleshooting Guide series where we're going to encounter all the other issues you may be having with 3D printing. I'm Alec from Matter Hackers. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you like that, give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all the big builds, how to's and troubleshooting guides I'll be working on. And don't forget, check out matterhackers.com to explore everything 3D printing and to join the community.